Hello, my name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with your productivity. Oh, this you crazy mother. So in today's video, what I want to do is go over an application called OneNote. OneNote has been around for a fair while and the company is run by Microsoft and it's predominantly used with students and um, the users of Office as well, Microsoft Office. Uh, that kind of experience is a business tool. But this video will go into detail on the core features of this note-taking tool and allow you to compare it to other services such as Evernote um, and also, you know, Workflowly. So let's get stuck in. So as you can see, when you enter and you sign into account, uh, you get this recent note stream. And this will be basically the location where you get all of your main notes. Scroll across to the left and you get a menu. You can see the notifications at the top. You can see recent notes and any notebooks that you've created. So down at the bottom, you've got these plus buttons which allow you to create notebooks and also choose the location that you want them in. You can also get access to the settings cog there, which I'll go into detail in a few more minutes. Once you go into a notebook, you are met with a really attractive looking uh, notebook setup. So as you can see at the top, you've got these kind of tabs going on, very similar to uh, if you used to have like a notebook uh, or even one of those tabbed folders. Um, and that's what it's basically designed off. So for example, if I click note down at the bottom here, I could get access to the following. I could create a note, I could create a list, or I can add a photo. So for now, I've just demoed one, which I created earlier. And as you can see, a very simplistic note experience. As you write these up, uh, it comes up in some really nice font. Uh, it gives you the timestamp at the top with the title, which you can edit. Allows you to add images natively, record as well, which is very handy for those, you know, students who are looking to record their lectures. As you can see down at the bottom, you can add bullet points, checklists. So you can change the bold, the kind of like depth of the list as well, and any attachments uh, that aren't, you know, photos or anything like that. In the top right hand corner, you've got the ability to delete the page. Um, you can move pages, email them, or you can sync them and update them. So this stores all offline, which is quite nice uh, and quite valuable. You see at the top, I've created these following tags. Um, and as you see, these notes, notes, I say notes, but they're actually pages. That's what Microsoft calls them. So it's a good way to see uh, all of those at a glance. Uh, I like the way they've done the tabbing system. When you create a new tab, it creates a new color. You can also edit the title of this too. As you can imagine, when you start adding photos and things like that, they come in line to the shot, which is quite nice. You can see the images come in line once you've added down, when added, and you can add them from the library directly, or you can add a specific photo. So for example, if I click, so for example, if I click into here, I can take a, a photo using my camera, and I'm just gonna do a quick photo of myself. Uh, and what I can do here is I simply upload that, and as you can imagine, so as you can imagine, it comes directly in stream uh, and there I am inside that. You can even add all of the information still here into the new notes as well. So what's nice as well is similar to Evernote, it comes up as a snippet, which is quite decent. And you also get to see uh, some of the pre um, information as well before you go into each of those. So as you can imagine, these come up in recent notes. Uh, the most up-to-date one at the top, you can also slide them. Um, so if I go back into here, you can also, oh, you can also press this button here and pin them to the top. So if I were to edit this note naturally, that should go at the top because it's the most recently edited one, but it actually goes to the bottom, uh, actually stay below the pin line. What else has this OneNote application got? As you can imagine, it's attached to your Microsoft account. So I've connected it to my OneDrive. I think this is probably the best way to do it, unless you've got you know multiple accounts going on the go, uh, business account then. You can also see the view. Uh, you can also set up quick notes as well. You can hide authors, so you can hide yourself from showing up there in case you've got lots of people in your team. You can also, also have the ability to see from the extensions tab whether you can see stuff in the notification center. So if I just go to notification center, you can see all of the recent notes as well as the ability to upload notes directly and lists and photos. So down here is just some other kind of jazz about 
inputting other stuff like feedback. But what's great about this is once you've got tons of notes, you can start searching, uh, which is quite valuable too. And what you can also do inside the app is sync each of the notebooks. So let's say you've done a really strong offline session, you can sync that. You can, you can also add friends, which is quite valuable and link them up to the notebook so that they can either collaborate or they can either they can either view the notes, which is quite decent. So in all in all, this is actually a really good application. It's a very strong Evernote competitor. But as you can imagine, there are a lot of flaws with this application. It doesn't go, it doesn't have like a system, have a system around it like tagging that is native to the app, which is a bit of a problem. I'm very lucky recently to meet some of the OneNote team and they, they've got a lot of functionality but it seems to be pushed towards obviously the Windows devices. As you can imagine, a lot of the focus going into the Surface 4s with, Win with OneNote running on them. So as you can imagine, I think OneNote is very much a preview on iOS, uh, but something to consider when looking for a note-taking application. Whenever I suggest this, I always suggest it to people who already have a Windows computer and actually actively in the Windows services. I definitely recommend this OneNote application. And OneNote has been something that keeps reoccurring. I really like the way they branded it over the last few years. So I definitely recommend using it. The reason I'm not using it is because I'm actually fairly heavily deep within Evernote now. I've understood all of the functionality of Evernote, so it makes sense for me to stay there. As you can imagine, removing all of my notes from Evernote to here would take a long time. If you're in your kind of infancy within, in the first year and you're, looking, and you're looking to have a kind of revamp of your experience on note-taking applications, and this is something to check out. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you what OneNote looked like. As you can imagine, I want to do some really heavy OneNote versus Evernote battles soon, showing you all of the features and all of the reasons why I think Evernote might be better or OneNote might be better. Anyway, guys, you'll have to see that video to see which one the winner is. Um, no bias there. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Make sure to subscribe. Have a great week and keep productive. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.